What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today I am excited to bring you a brand new indie title by the name of Tower Fortress. Tower Fortress is only a few dollars on Steam right now. It came out today, and you should check it out because it's pretty awesome actually. So let's take a look here. I always go to the options first, and what you see is pretty much what you get with this game. You've got credits, language, full screen, a couple of different sound effect options, and then you've got a timer that you can add in if you want to. I've not messed around with the timer yet. Other than that, the only other option is sweet, sweet play, and there is a lot of suits on display here, and you can use the credits that you earn in-game to unlock some very powerful suits. And I've got a few unlocks so far. I've got my default suit. I've got a low gravity suit, a 5 HP suit with less health drops, and a single shot chest suit, meaning the treasure chest in the game I can open with one round. And then there's extra health drops, more gun damage, and I'm actually going to go for the more gun damage. Now the way this game works is your first jump gives you an upward leap. Your second jump gives you a Sonic-style spin move, and the little spikes on top of your head then offer you damage against the enemies, whether going upwards or downwards. Now you gotta be careful, because if you jump and don't have time to pull off your spin move, then you're gonna take damage. And you've only got three health bars there on the right. Now the other things of note here is the gems that the enemies are dropping are the currency for the game, so you want to collect those. And one enemy per level, at least what I've found so far, will give you... Haha, got him. A key. And so that means probably the enemy at the bottom that I missed um, had the key in it. And I'll show you here the next level, but we can actually use the key to get up top there, and there's three reward perks to choose from. Now, the other thing that I've noticed that I'm... The only real negative that I can levy against this game is that you can't drop down through platforms. There is no hold down and jump or whatever to get down. Uh, once you go up, that's it. You've gone up, and there's no going back. So if there was a chest below you or anything else, well, that's gone now. There's the key. So you can see how useful that double spike jump is. Double machine gun. Your ammo, of course, is in the top right, as I'm sure you've already seen. Was that our second key, this level? I think it was. And we're not doing too bad so far. Now, I did play this game a little bit, obviously, because of the suits being unlocked. Just to try it out and to get my bearings. And every single negative that I levied against this game on my first recording uh, was taken care of. One of the biggest things that I had to say that I wanted to see different was the ability to stick to the walls. Because you can hold onto the walls and jump off of them as much as you want but you can't fire when you're sliding down. Well, there's a perk for that. One of the perks in the game will actually, it's a grappling hook. Well, let's see. Some energy blobs give ammo, full ammo, gain one HP and 15 ammo. Um, I think the gain one HP is if I was missing HP. So let's go for this refresher or reshaper. I'm sorry, some enemy blobs give ammo. I've not tried this one out yet. Anyway, there's a grappling hook that will let you stick to the wall and fire. So that's pretty nice. And unfortunately, your spin move does not negate damage from blades. So, yeah. You gotta stay away from the blades. Gotta do it. They're bad for your health. Let's see what this chest has to offer us. Now there is one weapon in the game that I really don't like, and it's called, I think, the Bubbler, or just Bubble. And it is just short of useless. Mm -hmm. 
You want to have a special weapon when you go to the first boss. Uh, the first time I fought him, I didn't have a special weapon, and uh, he actually soaked up a lot of damage, and I still didn't beat him. Uh, so it behooves you to try and get a special weapon before going into the boss. No knockbacks, one max HP, full ammo. We are going for that one extra HP to give us four total, but when you get that, you still have to fill it up, so don't make the mistake I did of thinking, whoa, that uh, it would grant me that extra HP full. It does not. Another thing that's really awesome about this particular level is you can move through the walls. So the enemies will keep going in circles. That's a pretty cool little feature. And there we go. And we've got gun damage, attract pickups, or gain full HP. Um, I'm gonna gain my full HP. I know, it's not very exciting, but it really helps with that longevity. Um, one slight negative that I have for this level, and it's really just a nitpick, is the uh, platforms are kind of transparent. there. We got our key. And I've got a flamethrower. Oh, nope. That was it. Did me in. That's the game in a nutshell, guys. I really, really like this game. Is it simplistic? Yes, it is on the simplistic side, but that does not make it any less fun. Um, there is comparisons here. If I was going to compare this to a title, I'd say you've got Sonic in the downwell world turned <laughs> the other way. So it's Sonic upwell. <laughs> and it's obvious, you know, the spin suit is a really cool feature and it does help with making upwards progression. And uh, it's, it's just a fun game. It's a lot of fun to go through, try to get a high score, um, and then your high score pays off because those gems you collect start with the hard boots, uh, boss health is halved, triple jumpsuit, combo continues on the first kill, or I'm sorry, on first hit. Gem value times two, ammo times two, limited upgrades. Spin jump damage by is increased by five times five. Half max ammo, three HP, warp to zone two. Start with revive, difficult key to unlock. Laser is default, high knockback, so that you start getting those pluses and minuses here. Six HP, but slippery grip. Choose color, default abilities. Full HP each level, three HP. T-Gun is default, enemy HP is doubled. That, oh, that, that would suck. Lots of health drops, minus one HP every 10 seconds. No thank you. Warp to zone three, seven HP and reverse controls. Shotgun is default, more enemies. Total gems, times three. But you only have, oh, you lose one HP. So, man, shotgun by default and more enemies wouldn't be so bad. That'd be a great way to rack up some gems. But then again, all you've got left to unlock is the 10,000 suit. So, there's lots of suits to unlock. This game's got lots of replayability. I've only seen the first two uh, worlds um, or different level designs. And I really, really like it. For a few dollars, it seems like it's very much worth it. The dev's done a great job here. My two only real qualms with the game is not being able to drop down through the platforms, which, you know, maybe a 
design choices to increase difficulty and make you think before you leap. And the other one is in that world too, it's a little hard to differentiate the platforms from the background. So, I mean, that's just changing the color hue a little bit, and that's still not a big deal. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I actually finally managed to do a video, and I kept it under 20 minutes. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. And until then, game on, everyone. Bye-bye.